got them in from the Rocky Mountain ATV thing. It took forever, but they came in. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's the issue with the hubs. And I called them. It's been quite a feat to try to get them to send me these things. It's literally this piece right here that I needed. And actually, they sent me four of them. So I only asked for one. They sent me four, but I did pay them. And it took over a month for them to realize that they never sent me anything. So they, I guess they felt bad maybe sent me a bunch more. Um, these look exactly the same like what I already had on there, what I rigged. These are the other washers that we're supposed to have on the front which is almost identical to the ones that I got but I can't really use them with these newer uh, castle nuts so I'm going to take off this back tire oh and I got a tripod which is cool so let's see I'm gonna take off this back tire here and take off this castle nut I have a uh, screw through there right now because my cotter pin broke because the washers were not the correct ones. So I'm going to attempt to pull this out. Which, that's why cotter pins are a lot easier. Because this is kind of a pain. But, once you straighten it out, look at there, it just falls right out. I'm going to go ahead and get my impact and pull off this... What is it? A, uh, it's not a 17. It must be bigger than 17, I can't remember. I'll pull this off and uh, show you guys what I'm talking about. So to access this, to get this hub off, you can take this off actually from right here, but I'm going to go ahead and take my tire off. Or do I even need to? Oh, I think I have to because my impact won't reach. So I'm going to go ahead and take these lug nuts off. Now I'll be able to access the castle nut. Just spins right off like that. Pull that out. There's a little lip there. Here's the two rings that I kind of made. You can tell they're not made for this because they're already rusting. So I'm glad that the Rocky Mountain actually sent me this piece. And here, I'll tell you guys so you can see. So this is the piece I was talking about and it literally just sits in this lip perfectly like that. It flushes it out. This goes on the inside. This washer here goes directly on that, just like that, and slides right over the hub. So, not the hub, the uh, axle. So, I'll go ahead and put these, both of these on, slide the hub on, make sure it's in. And see how loose this hub is on these splines? I think it's because over time it's wore out because of uh, not having the correct equipment on here. Which, you know, that's just part of it. So go ahead and slip these two on, slip this on. And this is the other washer they give you, slip on here. But my issue with that is the nut, castle nut, it'll go on, but your holes aren't going to line up correctly. So, the one thing always to make sure to do, make sure your holes are actually lined up where you can get your cotter pin through here, because I've done it several times where I can't, and I have to take it all off. Um, you're supposed to torque these to 110 foot-pounds, I believe, but I don't want to feel like bothering to get out my uh, 
imp my torque wrench, so I'm just going to use this impact on the automatic thing. Hit it a couple times and hope that the holes line up. And you see there's no wiggle here. Um, it should, the nail should go through, but this is the issue that I was having before with having that extra washer on there. The cotter pin area, these newer castle nuts that I got, they're because they're so much fatter here, you can't really put a cotter pin in, or in my case, a nail. I'm going to get more cotter pins tomorrow. Uh, I found some at the Home Depot. But just take take that washer off and set this car this castle nut back on. Just like that. This should slide right through. Should. It is a nail, so it's not meant to go through here, but for my purpose it works. And like I said, I'm going tomorrow to get a uh, set of cotter pins. Boom, look, it fell through. I didn't have to do anything. It's because it's already bent. And that's that. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the tire off for tonight because I'm going to try to go in the morning and get those cotter pins. And uh, she should be good to go after that. Be ready to ride. Something I noticed the other day, I believe my axle bearings, axle seals, whatever these are, are going out on each end and the carrier. I'm sure this is original, so I kind of want to get a replacement. I found one on eBay, a Caltrek for 40 bucks. It just slides in. Pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and get it because uh, I'll show you guys what it's doing right now. You see when I'm wiggling the axle staying put, but the whole frame and swing arm is moving. So, uh, my buddy diagnosed that as a bad seal bearings in here. So we'll go ahead and just get it replaced and fixed. That way I don't have to worry about it anymore. I mean, I'm still gonna ride this weekend. I'm not gonna really mess with it right now. It's still rideable. Just have to fix it in the near future because I'm gonna replace the whole carrier anyway. So if the carrier goes out, I'm fine with it. So it looks like it's just this side that's uh, wobbling. You can't really see in there. Oh, let's see if we can get a good angle. Can't really see much in there. Give you a better view though of the side here. I don't know if it's actually in there or not. So it's definitely the seal. So as I just looked at that video that I just took at the axle, it looks like this part right here is loose. So I may try tightening these, seeing what happens. These bolts are going out. I, they're a little stripped from using crappy Allen wrenches. So, so I'm thinking maybe if I tighten these suckers, they'll uh, it'll help maybe get it. a little tighter and won't wobble so much. I have no idea. We'll see if they can even tighten. I mean, it tightened a little more than I figured it would, considering it should be pretty tight, I thought. Let's see if I would want it now if it wobbles just as much. If 
it still seems like it's wobbling just as much. So I bet I need just, an, like I said, a whole new carrier, which I'll probably get because I found it on eBay for 40 bucks.